Into the Mirror covers a lot of things. Um, but having, having written songs, I sort of, you know, took an overall perspective on it. And so one word to describe it, I, I think, you know, love, love in all forms, um, romantic love, um, you know, just general relationships, friendship, and love ultimately for yourself and learning to love yourself. Well, uh, Rachel oh, was asked by Shelley to do it, and then Shelley came bouncing into work one day to me, saying we had this opportunity of writing, uh, writing some songs. And that's pretty much how it's all started, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and Craig's uh, favourite saying oh, is, yeah. uh, how hard can it be? <laughs> It's the way he's pretty much dealt with all of it. Oh, how hard can it be? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so what was your approach when you were composing the songs? Into the Mirror was written basically with the title and that was pretty much it and a general outline of the play. And uh, they came together rather well. I came up with some music. Uh, Rachel actually wrote a lyric, which separately to me, and somehow it, we made it all fit. Yeah, it, so it sort of worked, and dropped the odd word here and, and that to make it fit. And that's pretty much how Into the yeah. Mirror came about. Every song. every song did have a different mm. approach, so yeah. Yeah, there are some very different styles of music. As you, as you go through the album, it's great. So did you guys collaborate in writing the songs or, or did one of you write the songs or...? I tended to be, and, and primarily, so um, the lyrics. Craig would you know, jump in and, and change a word here or two or put something in there, but generally I, I wrote the lyrics and um, yeah, Craig, Craig's the tunes man. <laughs> <laughs> and it just seemed to work really well that mm, way. It did. <laughs> so how long did it take to write the songs for this album? Not long. No, not, not long, long. Not at all. <laughs> Actually, that was the easy bit. Just the actual <laughs> writing the lyrics. Writing the song was the And, easy. you know, coming up with just the very basic, you know, acoustic tune. That, that came together mm. quite quickly. We'd get an idea and it'd be finished by that night, really. Mm. I, I've seen to work that way. I get an idea in my head and that's it. It's, it's you know, yeah, done that way. However, overall, that's another story. <laughs> the whole, I mean, not that we like to say orchestration, but, but yeah, the, the bringing it all together, um, you know, and building on it to make, make it mm. a whole, that's what took a lot longer. <laughs> but yeah, writing them came together quite quite easily, really. Mm. Yeah. That's excellent. So was there a connection with each of the characters to write songs that capture the spirit of the play? Definitely. I don't think you can write music or, or write a song and lyrics particularly unless there is something there. So you know, the same as, you know, people write of their own experiences and whatnot. It was having to find a connection with each of them to, to, to feel it so that you could put it across and have those emotions. Yeah, so I definitely found a connection with all of them. What were the challenges you guys faced in composing the music and writing the songs for this production? Well, uh, one challenge was when uh, Shelley started developing the characters more and deciding Melanie was in a rock band, we thought, oh, okay, now we have to write a song that would sound like what her band would sound like. Yeah, it was kind, and, of, kind of a given, yeah, you know. <laughs> we thought, oh, okay, we can, we can do this. And after a few days of thinking, how the hell are we going to do this? Or what are we going to write? Um, Jokingly, I said, we'll call it cyanide. So 
we sat on that for a few few days, I think. Yeah. As a you know, joke title, and then I was one day I was playing with a drum machine and sped up as a drum loop, started playing the guitar. Rachel starts sort of humming something, you know, and then by the time I drove home, she'd written a lyric. That's great. And how important has it been to you guys being involved with Into the Mirror? Really important. It's, mm. You can't describe. Once we got involved, it's like, what have we do, been doing all our lives? This yes. is this is great. Like this is something we really mm. feel that we've wanted to do. But you know, you want to do something. You're not sure what it is. For me, I feel like I've arrived, 40 years of age, and I'm finally doing something that I love doing. What part of the process have you enjoyed the most about writing and producing the there's too many things, way too many enjoyable moments from just getting together with Craig in the first place with, you know, simple acoustic guitar to we've been really lucky to have some pretty amazing people come on board and just have faith and they still barely really know us and they, you know, worked on this project with us. And how do you see the play touching and inspiring the audience? By the CD, you can take something. <laughs> but yeah, potentially everyone will see something mm. different from this. Well. So I really do believe that, that not one single person will leave there without being touched in some shape or form. What was it like collaborating with Shelley in, into the mirror? <laughs> I oh, know, Shelley's great. Shelley is great. Yeah, it's been good. You know, it, it, it's a bit of a pain when she changes yeah, yeah, things and, and, and like, too. yeah. <laughs> but she tells it yeah. how it is, you know, straight up front. If, 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 am I allowed to say on camera if something's crap? If she thought the music was crap, she'd tell us. <laughs> well, yes, it's been good because every song we've presented to her, she's liked, so that's, that's always a good yeah. start. There's definitely very upfront and honesty, and she's mm. been great like that, and incredibly encouraging. Do you have a favourite scene in the play? I know, I'm looking mm. forward to the ballroom scene and the whole, you know, because being a bit of a romantic, but that whole, whole tension and then the other, you know, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that un unfold. How does Into the Mirror celebrate acceptance? Yeah, we've all done it. We've looked into the mirror and haven't seen who, you know, we feel inside. Everybody's done that. So, yeah, mm. that ultimate acceptance that no matter what this is, you're happy within yourself. A toast to the mysterious link between mothers and daughters. What does that mean to you, Rachel? Oh, the mysterious link between mothers and daughters. For everybody, that's different. How do you how do you describe that? Honestly, how do you describe that? There is a link, no matter whether they're in your life or not. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how I can describe that being the, yeah. <laughs> All I can say is I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without my mum, that is for sure.